What is going on guys? Gamers Goon here today to talk about the final four. Yes, the final four is finally among us, everybody. Now this is a weird final four, man. If you had told me at the beginning of the year I could only believe two teams in here. We got Baylor and Houston in the Battle of Texas, and then we got Gonzaga versus UCLA UCLA, as I call them, in a battle amongst the best team in basketball, and in a double-digit 11-seed team. So this this Final Four is going to be interesting, man. This Final Four is going to be interesting. Um, I, I, I really did like what I saw at a UCLA. UCLA came. They handled their business against Michigan. They made it tough on Michigan. Uh, Michigan had a chance to win that game. They didn't. Um, and unfortunately for Michigan, um, some boneheaded calls at the end where they were shooting threes rather than attacking the rim and possibly going to overtime. Cost of Michigan the game. Um, that's unfortunate for them. Great for me. Unfortunate for them. Um, Gonzaga, they wasted no energy whatsoever. They, they continue to handle their business with another double-digit win here against UC, USC. Um, and then we had... Baylor, Baylor came in there. They handled their business. Nothing to see there. They are easily going to go on. And then that leaves the Houston Cougars. And they they went in there, and they also won. Um, so that, that, that leaves those four teams left there for everybody. And, man, oh, man, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Now, as to what I think is going to happen going forward, I don't know, man. I'm probably going to get these predictions wrong, but I'm going to predict with my gut. I'm going to predict with what I want to happen, what I want to see happen. It's March Madness. It's March Madness. Why not continue the madness? We'll start it off with Gonzaga versus UCLA. You got an 11 seed and a 1 seed. Johnny Juzang, we don't know if he'll be playing. Man, he, he was limping off all over the court. And I know once you once you get off that ankle, I've done it before. I've finished a game with a sprained ankle. But once you get off that ankle for a day or two, that angle starts stiffening it up. It could be a, it could be a dangerous situation for Johnny Juzang. We might, he might not even play. But hey, man, it's March Madness. I fully expect Johnny Juzang to play. I fully expect him to keep his his ankle elevated, and keep it um, make sure he he rests, make sure he gets the ice, make sure he he sits out of practice if he needs to. I fully expect Johnny Juzang to play. Um, Johnny Juzang absolutely carried the team, scored fifty four percent of their points. Um, last night, um, dropped 28 points. Johnny Juzang's going to need to be in the game um, if they have one extended shot against UCLA. And like I said, man, I expect Johnny Juzang to play. And I'm going to go with it, man. It's March. It's March. I'm probably way off on this, but I don't care. I am taking the UCLA UCLA Bruins to go all the way and make it to the national championship. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. It'd be It would be one hell of a Cinderella story. It would be. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy indeed. And then we get into the Battle of Texas. Who will win? The guys that control Houston or the guys that control Baylor, who I, which I believe is in near Waco, Texas. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but Baylor, they're from Texas either way. Um, Houston, Baylor, should be a good one. Um, Baylor's got a lot of guards that are scary. They got Masio Teague. They got Davion Mitchell. They got Jared Butler. They got a lot of guys. Mark Vitell is going to be a, um, a hassle to guard, but that's fine. That's fine. I trust Quentin Grimes. I trust Houston, and I'm going to trust Houston to win this game. I got a lot riding on Houston. Um, I got I got some investment in Houston right now um, for reasons that will not be discussed, but we need to see Houston win. We need to see Houston win and go up against UCLA in that championship game, and then if that happens, that will be – one of the craziest finals I think we've ever seen. One of the craziest championship games I think we've ever will ever see. Uh, Gonzaga is a little bit too predictable, and this March Madness has been anything but predictable. Obviously, a lot of March Madnesses aren't predictable, but this March Madness has been something else, man. Or Roberts, UCLA, Illinois getting bounced early. It was a lot of weird things happening this March Madness specifically, man. And why not keep up on that train? Let's make no one seed in the championship, no one seed available. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see a two seed in Houston versus an 11 seed in UCLA. And in that matchup, I got Houston 
Houston is going to be the ones to say, you know what, enough is enough. Let's end things here. Johnny Drew saying, it's over. It's over. I love Johnny, especially because he beat Michigan, but I'm sorry, I got to go with Houston. I got to go with Houston to win the entire tournament. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know down below who you think is going to win the Final Four. Um, I fully expect somebody in the comment section to be like, oh, you didn't pick Gonzaga. I'm not here to pick the, the obvious choice. I'm not here to be normal. I'm not here to do what is likely to happen. I'm not here to, to sit here and do what everybody else is going to do. It's not interesting that way. It's not interesting that way. I could come on here, I could tell you Gonzaga, and guess what? Everybody would agree. What's the fun in that? I'm taking UCLA. I'm taking Houston. I'm taking Houston in that game between Houston and UCLA. That's simple, man. That's simple. Let me know down below who you think is going to win the whole thing. Obviously, a lot of people are going to say Gonzaga. We might have a few people say Baylor, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be a lot of Gonzaga people down there. Um, they're definitely the favorites. They're the favorites, but can they finish that undefeated season? Not if Johnny Juzang has anything to say about it. I'll be talking to you guys in the next video.